So how hard is it to be a resident of Las Vegas or a tourist here in 2020? Well, let's share with you a little bit of a story while I go on a bit of a rant about Governor Steve Sislak and his response and his ongoing response to everything. And if I look incredibly pink right now, that is because I should have my mask up. We are under one of the worst uh, air quality conditions we've ever had. And I've been here since for 16, almost 17 years. So this is the worst air we've ever had. Uh, fires in California. That's why I'm recording this video right now. I didn't want to miss out on this epic moment where the sky just didn't come out today. It's kind of crazy. So that's what you see around me. Look at that. Nothing in the background. The horizon. Mountains somewhere back there. But we're going to talk about it and I'm going to use example right now. Here's my example for you, okay? I go out on the strip and I do live streams all the time. And if you guys haven't seen them, you might want to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for those notifications. And also leave us a comment below. How are you enjoying the live streams? Hopefully you dig them. And did you see the live stream where I went over to, uh, what was it, at the uh, Casino Royale? That's what they call a casino in France. A Casino Royale with cheese. That's just a line from Pulp Fiction. Don't listen to me. I'm lying to you there. But did you see when I went to Casino Royale over and over again and we saw people that were 200 deep lined up to get drinks at the uh, Fat Tuesday? Did you notice how last week I made a comment about how strange it was that they were allowing people to line up their 200 deep and not be socially distanced whatsoever, but it wasn't okay for people to go over to the bar and sit down and have a drink for 30 minutes to an hour, even if they were socially distanced, which most of the bars are. The bars remain closed, but hey, look at these margarita places are open. And wouldn't you know it, just like that, margarita places have closed. At least Fat Tuesday has. I was there on Friday night. It was open. Lots of people lined up, doing business, keeping the doors open, keeping the lights on. I went there on uh, Sunday night, completely closed. I don't understand it. Rumor has it there was other video bloggers out there on Saturday night, and they were still open. Oh, and the date on the door was, uh, the date on the notice from the Clark County was, was March 20th. So I guess they just had a bunch of those photocopied and Xeroxed and they didn't care when the date was. Just slam it on the door. You're now shut down until further notice. Yeah, that's what it's been like doing business here. That's what it's been like and, and you know, under the leadership of our current governor. Now, before you guys rip into me, I'm going to just introduce myself so you can address me when you tell me I'm crazy or if you tell me I'm right. My name's Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. Hopefully you would like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for the future notifications. As I mentioned, leave us a comment. Has your governor done any better in your state or your province? If you have a premier of your province up in Canada or the parish where you live, and I don't know what they govern a parish with, tell me about what it's been where you're from. And also, if you guys want to support the channel, there's Patreon, YouTube membership. Uh, VegasFaceMask.com, the only two face masks you'll ever need, just right there. I just did an instructional video on how to put these on, so when you guys order one, you'll get a cool new video with me in it. Anyways, yeah, that's what that is. So Steve Sisolak, what are we going to do with you, Steve? We're not going to talk about the D or the R or anything in front of a politician's name. We're only going to judge them for the actions that they take. And what's so maddening right now to me is that we have people that are basically speaking out of both sides of their mouth and it really really bothers me and it irks me it's irksome it irks me in my irky part of my irkiness when people do this see the other day steve sisolak a couple of weeks back was caught on video looks like maybe somebody was on the balcony of an eating establishment and they were filming him with his wife sitting right next to a lounge singer who was singing some kind of song now you couldn't hear the music in the song and when it was brought up though i should post this in the facebook group not leaving las vegas i actually deferred not to i said we don't know when the video is from it could have been from before the mandate or the musical shutdown and the bar shutdown happened we didn't know turned out he admitted that was him and you are allowed to have music as long as it's nice soft ambient music but nobody I know got that memo. I literally know people in entertainer, entertainment. You know, I know people who manage entertainers who would like to get hired for gigs if they do that kind of music, but they don't know what the rules are. If the rules are out there, nobody said it in a press release. Steve Sisolak sur surely didn't say it. And I know people that are waiting to go back to some of those bars and lounges right now, but they don't know when they can return because as far as they understand, only soft ambient music yet. Last night in that same stream, when I went down and saw that the margarita place was closed, I went past one of the piano bars. Well, the only piano bar. Well, actually not the only one, the one at Harris. There's one at Bellagio, mind you. Good, good piano bar, Bellagio's a little more expensive. And there was somebody singing Cheryl Crow covers on a piano. And there was a guy playing guitar. Well, if that's not soft ambient music, I don't know what is. It, it's not soft ambient music, is it? I'm not just crazy on thinking that. You know, repeated gaffes like this 
repeated things where we just throw up our hands and say, oopsie, do as I say, not as I do, that completely makes people frustrated. It makes business owners lose their mind. A lot of people that are on the strip that have establishments that serve only alcohol, that don't have the capital to put food into it, that really bothers people. And at this point in the video, you might be saying, Stephen, dude, just stop it already. People can get drinks in Las Vegas. What is the problem? The problem is we don't have a level playing field as far as I understand it. Politicians never have a level playing field. And again, I could care less if you're talking about a politician with D for Democrat or R for Republican next to your name. And you guys are now going to go and name particular names in the comments and all the power to you. And I'm not even going to do that. People from both sides of the aisle do it. What's good for the goose isn't always good for the gander. It's okay for Steve Sisolak to go eat somewhere and not tell anybody what the real rules on those kinds of establishments and music deals are. And then he gets caught and he clarifies things. And, you know, it's like, come on, stop it. Come on, don't do this to us anymore. See, the thing is, this city thrives on entertainment absolutely thrives on it. One of the things that's entertaining to people are bars and restaurants and dining and experiences. And for years, Vegas was fantastic at creating those experiences. And we perfected it to an art form. And do I think it's a good idea to open Allegiant Stadium with 65,000 roaring fans in a couple of weeks? No, I really don't. I think that would be a bad idea. But do I think it's a good idea to allow bars and restaurants to practice social distancing and allow people to have music? Yeah, I probably think it is. So we have to be able to strike a balance, but I would just implore our governor to be a little bit more transparent, to be a little bit more communicative. Maybe once a week uh, discussions on what's going on isn't a great option for you. Maybe you should be releasing text press releases with details inside in tandem with those because I know I would definitely read them and I would read you guys the news and I would tell you what's going on and we would have already known, hey, look, only ambient soft music, but then again, see, it, they don't play by the rules. Caesars does not play by the rules. When I walk past the piano bar and I don't hear soft ambient music, or maybe that's considered soft ambient music in eyes of the governor because it's not really that rock and roll version of Sheryl Crow and it's played at a slower tempo. So you see how clumsy and how complicated this is, but I guess that's really it, right? Look, when I worked in timeshare, I noticed that the job is really, really simple, what I had to do, but the bosses would always make it seem really, really complicated. See, I think the boss likes to keep things really complicated because that way when things arise in the future, they can always clarify it and they keep us scared from trying to figure things out on our own. And that's a terrible way to be. We're pretty smart, We're pretty switched on. We realize C-19 is a thing. I just listened to that Portnoy guy from Barstool Sports. He said he was in a house in the Hamptons, seven people in a five bedroom house. Every single one got it. We understand it's a, it's a communicable disease. We understand it can hurt vulnerable people. We understand we don't want it. We understand we have to wear our face masks. We have to wash our hands, sanitize them. We get it, socially distancing and all that stuff. Nearly practical and uh, impractical and impossible in Las Vegas. But we just don't understand why you're making it so hard to follow the said rules. Maybe we'll have to phone up the people over at the Fat Tuesdays and tell them, ask them what they did so wrong that they were open on a Friday, open on a Saturday from what I've heard, and closed to my own eyes on a Sunday with a notice on the door that said they were shut down March 20th. Does that make sense to you? Don't make sense to me. Anyways, my name is Steven. This is my rant for today. It is so smoky and weird out here. It's so strange. But it's, it's late at night. I'm going to post this up. Like, share, subscribe, everybody. If you guys want to support the channel, VegasFaceMask.com. This will at least keep you safer than nothing at all. And uh, they're two for 25. And uh, yeah, well, there it is. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. The wife appreciates you supporting her. And um, yeah, there we go. I'm going to log off the camera now. So right now, I'm going to say three, two, one, click. Are you ready? So three, two, one, and click.
Thank you.